All right, let me explain something else. The reason why crypto is something that I think is like a life insurance policy at this point. In the United States right now, we're back on the, on the, everything is fine with the banks. Everything is great. We're solid again. Yeah, okay. I don't believe shit is solid. I think we're back in the same situation that led to the banking crisis. I think the economy, the way it's going, I think the interest rates, the way they're going, um, it's just gonna basically mean more bond collapses and at the end of the day, stock market going down. That being said, what happens if your bank happens to be one of the banks that shuts its doors one day? You may not be able to get access to it or ATM, but you may be able to do a buy or transfer from your bank into your crypto exchange. So you may be able to have money in your crypto exchange via crypto through your purchase. I don't want to be one of those people banging at the door. When are you going to open? When am I going to get my cash back? This is crazy. I have no money. If you can't trust the banks, the crypto exchange may be a way to keep cash on the side. You can buy a bunch of coins, certain coins. You can even buy Bitcoin. You can go to certain places in the world, cash them out. I don't trust American banks. I don't trust any bank. I don't trust banks anymore. And you have to be under, understand my point of view. You need to have a, a, a safety parachute just in case your bank one day doesn't open up. You go, whoa, wait a minute, but I got XRP or I got XLM or I got Bitcoin. Let me cash that all out. And then let me, let me, let me go to a, a Bitcoin uh, ATM machine in Puerto Rico or Florida or Jersey. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Or El Salvador. You need to have other ways to access your money besides the bank. The bank is not your friend. 